Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, this is video number two out of three today because we are pushing for our rights to pass on the next generation the blessing of the Second Amendment. What I'm going to show for you today is an NRA article, and this is honestly a hat tip article because they put in very simple terms, very easy to understand terms, why Biden and all the gun controllers magazine bans and magazine requirements are never going to work. This is an exceptional one to send out because this is an easily understandable written article, as I mentioned. Everything will be linked in the description box below. I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor, Arms Directory, and then we're going to dive in, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Arms Directory is a 2 way friendly social media and marketplace of ideas. With social media across the board, the big companies censoring us wherever they want, this is a great option for you to share all of your passions and your freedoms that we all share. They're the only 2A protected space to do just that, and if you want, you can check in there, or you can join the LOA family on Arms Director, and I'd love to see you over there so we can share some of those passions that I mentioned. Everything is linked in the description box below, and thank you so much to Arms Directory for making these videos possible. All right, so as I mentioned in the introduction, we've got to dive into some of the reasons that the NRA lies, lays out that this will not work. The magazine bans, the wet dream of magazine bans will not work along with some other confiscational, uh, confiscational options that they're trying to put forward in place and other bans. The reason why is something that we hit consistently on this channel. The common use, the Bruin decisions, the Heller decisions, all the different tapestry of freedom that we have constructed on the gun rights movement for years, almost decades now, we've been whittling away at their controlled dreams. Check this out, because like I said, this is very well written and well worded. Biden's bottomless ignorance on guns. Okay, like I said, it's NRA. It's obviously a biased source, but it's well written and it's founded in fact. Check this out. It came out today. These days, President Joe Biden seems confused when it comes to just about everything. However, the longtime gun control advocate still saves some of his most fallacious and unintelligible comments for the firearms debate. Biden's latest comments on gun legislation suggest that the president lacks even a rudimentary understanding of how firearms operate. Well, no kidding. Again, I'm setting the table, then we're going to hit it with the facts. On October 23rd, Biden hosted Now This News, a subsidiary of left-wing Vox Media, at the White House for a question and answer session. During an exchange with the questioner, Biden touted legislation he supported that would ban commonly owned semi-automatic firearms. Then added, excuse me, then the politician stated, quote, my legislation says there can be no more than eight bullets in a round, okay? Obviously, you can figure out what he was talking about, magazine bans. But as we get into this, this is the part where it falls completely on its, on its face through multiple occasions of what we've talked about because knowledge is how we undermine this. Check this out. The most charitable interpretation of Biden's gibberish would be that the president is seeking to prohibit firearm magazines with a capacity in excess of eight rounds. However, even if this was what the enfeebled politician was attempting to co communicate, the policy is incoherent. And now we come with the truth smack. This is that tapestry of facts that I'm talking about. Check this out because they laid it out excellently. In District of Columbia v. Heller, 2008, the U.S. Supreme Court made clear that the Second Amendment protects the use of arms, quote, in common use. We hit that a lot because it's so crucial. For lawful purposes. Americans own hundreds of millions of firearm magazines with a capacity greater than 8 or 10 rounds. It doesn't get more common than that. That's one of the reasons this has no chance. Even if they somehow miraculously figure this out to get it passed, they still don't have a chance because the courts will correct it. There is multiple cases of precedent. The original SAFE Act limited gun owners to only seven rounds of ammunition. Now, this is in New York. But permitted the use of 10-round magazines due to the unavailability of magazines with a lower capacity. This stratagem proved the common use of a 10-plus round magazines. This is coming out of New York when... Uh, I can't remember that guy's name right this second. We'll, we'll see it in Cuomo. When Cuomo basically put this together. In striking down the seven-round limit in New York State Rifle and Pistolization versus Cuomo, 2015, same guys, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit explained, New York determined that only magazines containing seven rounds or fewer could be safely possessed, but it also recognized that seven-round magazines are difficult to obtain commercially. Its compromise was to permit gun owners to use 10-round magazines if they were loaded with seven or fewer rounds. That was the whole premise. Okay, But now, listen to what happened because this is why it changed. The court then determined, quote, We cannot conclude that New York has presented sufficient evidence that a seven-round load limit would be best protect public safety. Does that sound familiar? 
Does that sound familiar to what we've been talking about all year with ghost gun bans, with tactical machining in Texas, with Delaware striking down ghost gun bans, with all the different bans that are under question now because of Bruin? Does that language sound familiar? Because it's a constantly reinforcing thing. Let's keep going. Got one last thing for you. Following the U.S. Supreme Court, New York State Rifle Pistol, excuse me, New York State Rifle Pistol Association v. Bruin, 2022, which reaffirmed the individual right to keep and bear arms and reiterated the proper framework for addressing infringements on the Second Amendment right, courts should prove more skeptical of all ammunition capacity restrictions. Biden's boutique eight-round proposal should be dismissed out of hand as illegal and unworkable. That is exactly how you write an article. It's easy to access, it's easy to read, it's easy to be communicate, and it's easily sourced. This is the way that we will move forward and dismantle the gun bans, the mag bans. This is the way we do it. We have all the facts on the side. We have history on our side. We have court decisions on our side. And we will pass this on to the next generation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.